Welcome. Okay, what I need to do is I need to quickly go ahead and show you how to multiply double digits and then I got to get out of here before they kick me out. All right, so multiplying double digits. Now, I showed you previously how to multiply single digits and I hope you did practice, 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 and practice so that you got them down and memorized because ladies and gentlemen, you will be using your single digit multiplication for the rest of your life. You need to know how to make sure you can multiply at the grocery store and make sure you get your right change back. So, once you know you're multiplying single digits, here's an example, eight times seven, hopefully this quickly you guys should know it is a uh, 3656. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take double digits. So I have a 14, and let's say if we multiply by a single digit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first multiply the 1's times the 1's. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 4, which gives me a 12. Now, if that number is greater than, 10, greater than 10, or I'm sorry, greater than 9, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to carry over the 10's digit over to the next placement. Therefore, now I have 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 1 is 4. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can check your work if you remember to check your work, you can multiply, or I'm sorry, you can add 14 plus 14 plus 14 again. And if we look at that, 14 plus 14 plus 14. 14 plus 14 is going to give me 28, plus another 14 will end up giving me 42. So I'm going to work through this process again, and it's a very, very simple process, all right? It's the way we used to do it way back in the day when we had to count how many uh, Tootsie Rolls we were going to be able to buy. So... If we had, you know, 21 at, uh, and $16, how many Tootsie Rolls could we buy? So the first thing you do is you take your ones digit and you multiply it times the ones digit. So I do one times six. Now, here, I don't have, I don't have to carry over my tens digit. So then therefore, now I just do one times one. So you do one times six and then one times one, which is one. Now, for the next tens digit, what I need to do is I need to make sure if you notice that this is a digit over, so I need to give it a space, so I'm going to give zero. So therefore I need two times six, which is twelve, I'll carry over the one again, two times one is two, plus one is three. Now I need to add up my two, um, two sides, so six plus zero is six, one plus two is three, three plus zero is going to give me three. Therefore my final answer is 336. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a process. It's going to take a lot of practice. I hope by you watching me, you'll be able to at least understand what I'm doing, follow it, and then you'll just need a little bit more practice. So let's again just go through this. 8 times 2 is 16. So you draw down the first number, and then you bring over the tens digit up top. Then you multiply 8 times 1, which gives you 8, and then add any remainder you add, which gives me now 9. Now, when I move over to the next digit, I need to make sure that I'm leaving a space where that 8 would have been. Therefore, now I do 1 times 2, which it gives me 2. And then 1 times 1, I do not carry over that remainder anymore. 1 times 1 is going to give me 1. Now, I'll simply add the two numbers. 6 plus 0 is 6. 9 plus 2 is 11. Again, we can't write 11 there, so we need to carry it over. 1 plus 1 is 2. All right? Let's work on this one. 4 times 5 is going to be, give me 20. I put a 0 and then a 2 up there because 2 is now in my 10 spot. 4 times 2 is 16 plus 2 is 18. I need to put another 0 now because I'm moving over to the tens digit, so I need to space it out. 6 times 2 is 30, put a 0. Now instead of a 2 up there, I need to put a 3. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 3 is 27. Add them up, 0 plus 0 is 0, 8 plus 0 is 8, 1 plus 7 is 8, 2 over 2. So that's a big number, 2,888, right? I don't expect you guys to memorize that, but I do expect you guys to memorize the process that I'm working through so you can quickly do this on your own. All right, last problem. 17 times 11. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1. Drop down my 0 as I move to the next point. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1. Hold up. I get 7, 8, 1. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, that was multiplying digits, and uh, now i got to go. i got to go and catch a flight over to San Diego. So hope you guys have fun. I hope you checked it out. Make sure you guys get your practice so you can, when I come back and I see, I want to see that you can do this. Bye-bye now.